Hey everybody, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. Today we're going to take a quick look and listen to Emmy Synth from Strix Instruments. This is a really cool plugin that samples old school children synthesizers. Just wait till you hear it. So before we get started checking this one out, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel down below, and hit that bell notification icon so you know when we go live with videos and great deals just like this. All right, so Emmy Synth, you guys, um, Emma Synth, Emmy Synth, whatever, you guys might remember that Strix Instruments went to Chernobyl and sampled the Pripyat pianos, which were pianos they found in Chernobyl, which is the site of the biggest human nuclear disaster. If you don't know about that, why don't you go and research it? Um, anyway, they risked their lives and safety and radiation to sample pianos. Now they've come to us with these Soviet era children's synthesizers and keyboards that they have sampled what does that mean uh they probably did it on the same trip when they're there in the uh soviet russian area ukrainian area um so let's check out the sounds of this they're very quirky full of character these are children's instruments that they've sampled um they're going to have a very unique tone and character to them and it sounds pretty cool <laughs> So in addition to the basic, you know, the character of these instruments, we have a lot of different ones that they've sampled and then turned into samples that we can use in our dolls. We have basic ones, bass, keyboards, lead, uh, pads, and plucks. And there's a few different for each. If you go in and look at the names for these, even one of them, for instance, this pad is Chernobyl Sunset. So um, if you own the Pripyat piano, they, these are going to go very well together. They do not have a pristine sound, a pristine modern sound. These are very dated, um, very full of characters. Some of them have like detuning issues and stuff like that. But that is the whole point in sampling these. You get something that you don't get anywhere else. Um, I found these were really good for kind of 80s retro wavy type sounds and we're going to check out a little quick um, example here using only the sounds from Emisynth as well as the built-in plugins um, excuse me the built-in effects if you notice um, in that last one when I was playing around with the effects there's a lot of really powerful effects here that you can make use of um, more than the average instrument um, and so we have delays, reverbs, um, this rotator, the rotary type effect, lo-fi distortion, screamer, vibrato, phaser, the envelopes up here, the basic stuff there. And then you have, you know, chorus, unisons to uh, increase the number of voices. <laughs> And then the glide, which is the portamento. So you can go from, you know, subtle to very extreme filters. Um, there was just a lot of really nice effects that all you have to do is turn them on and you can totally shape the sound as well. So let's check out some of the sounds here. That one I was just using, I'm going to kind of restart it because I messed with the preset a bit. Go back here and that was bass loose. All right, so let's check out uh, some of the sounds here.
All right, so you get a feel for the kind of quirky character of this synth. It's very imperfect, and that is what gives it that unique character and just, you know, playfulness, realism to it. So, for instance, we have some of the plucks here. I was kind of trying to mess with the cutoff filter there. Uh, during the sequence, you can get something more, uh, a little bit more modern out of it. So you can hear I've got that one panned all the way to the left, and then this one is going to be panned all the way to the right. So, you know, again, with the, with the filters, you can make it a little bit more modern, but it's still going to retain that, like, really nice, vintage, quirky character to it. Um, again, some of the effects are enabled for that one as well, like the unison, the number of voices. Every, every little effect is going to change the sound quite a bit from what you started off with. So then we also have, you know, basses here. <laughs> And that's got one of the convolutions enabled, which is right here. So you have different presets for the convolutions, the reverbs there. And if you look here, some of them are impulse responses from Chernobyl itself. Um, so you're not going to get this kind of stuff anywhere else. It's actually really, really cool. Um, let's go here, and there's a lead. I'm just going to kind of turn these instruments on and let you hear the different sounds. <laughs> That lead there is just, you know, t taking the pitch bend. Let me pop this out. The pitch bend wheel and showing you what it's doing right here. So, you know, it just bends the pitch up. So it goes up a whole step there. Just very simple stuff. So you get this cool kind of toy sounding one here and you'll notice each of the pictures changes because they sampled a handful of different um, instruments here. Some of them are just beautiful, <laughs> this nice toy kind of vintage sound. Then we've got the pads coming in here. So there was the lead there. I turned the lead off. So we just have the two pads now. And then turning on the plucks with that as well as the bass. So this bass, if you notice, not that, it's a lead. So we've got the bass, it's got a sharp attack there, but when you hold it down, it goes through that kind of phaser, um, that kind of sync sound there, which is really cool to just have underlaying underneath the pads and then that weird kind of crazy lead here. You can hear as I'm holding it down, there's like, you know, the subtle changes in pitch, just that weird kind of imperfect vintage character and a bit childish and quirky as well. <laughs> 